guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing another makeup tutorial look this one was requested um, from my last video my closet tour video so we're gonna be doing that today I got my coffee it is uh, 12 15 so just past noon currently I have no makeup on so we're gonna be doing the face and everything I have this Maybelline foundation this cover girl concealer which works really well kind of as like an eyeshadow base and then I have this fit me Maybelline powder and then I'll be using this for like a contour thing so we'll start with all the face stuff and then move into the eyes and the eyeshadow sometimes I'll do eyeshadow first because sometimes you can like get your face makeup messed up if you do it after I've been finding that I tend to do my foundation first I find that having like that kind of sticky base for your eyeshadow to stick to helps a lot and I usually don't make too much of a mess nothing that can't be fixed up with just like a brush so usually I'll just put like one pump onto the brush sometimes oh my god that scared me sometimes it like goes squirting out do you guys ever have that happen where like your foundation kind of gets blocked up and you're like squeezing it and it like sprays everywhere I hate when that happens I feel like foundation really um like stains if you've ever got foundation like on your clothes Anyways, um, today is Friday currently. I'm probably going to be posting this on Sunday. That's kind of what I'm trying to aim for is posting every Sunday. So last Saturday, I forget what date that was, but I was trying to do a little World of Warcraft event with my Discord server. It didn't quite go exactly as I planned, but I think that that's because I suck at planning things and it was kind of like iffy. I think I posted about it like earlier in the week and I was like, hey guys, um, it'd be fun to hang out with you on World of Warcraft, so maybe we'll do something on Friday or Saturday. And then I didn't end up doing it Friday, did it on Saturday, but it was kind of like up in the air, so not many people showed up, um, which is totally fine and in the future I would like to, you know, like plan some World of Warcraft events a little bit better to the point where like people know that like yeah it's happening on this day but two people ended up coming to hang out and it was really really fun so i know if you don't play wow this probably doesn't make any sense but i'm talking about it because world of warcraft is kind of my life so that's the thing i was playing with this one girl and then we ended up getting on classic wow and we made some night elves which are like my favorite and then another friend came on too and also so i'm not just like oh that girl that i was playing with her name i think on Discord, it was like Amelthea or something like that. I know her real name too, but I don't know if she wants me to say it like here. And we got to like level three, and then my other friend who I know is Tog, she logged on, and I was super excited because we've been friends for a really long time, uh, like on Instagram and stuff. And I've been wanting to play World of Warcraft with her for a long time. So she logged in too, and then it was the three of us. And I think we just got to like level four or level five, and then we kind of logged off for the night and we were like voice chatting and it was really, really fun. So the main reason I'm talking about this is because today is Friday. So tomorrow's Saturday, which is one week since we played together. And I think that we should try to play again. I think I'll probably try to message them or post on my Discord and see if they want to get on again and continue the adventure with our night elves. But I think it would also be fun Fun if more people wanted to join. Anyways, a quick little break from the whole World of Warcraft Discord stuff. Um, I finished my face, got foundation, concealer, powder, and contour, so we're good to go. So I'm going into doing my eyebrows next. I have this Revolution Pro brow pomade stuff that I got a few years ago. It was really cheap and I like it, so yeah. Also, I just want to say I know I'm not really doing this as like a tutorial. You're more just kind of hanging out with me while I do my makeup, but once I get into the eyeshadow, I'll like try to do it more tutor tutorially. Um, but right now it's just kind of boring foundation eyebrows. It's pretty self-explanatory and easy to watch. So back to the World of Warcraft stuff. Basically, I still want to play those night elves with my two friends, but I also don't want other people to not be included. So I'm debating between being like, hey, does anyone want to join us on our night elves? If so, feel Feel free to make one. I was telling them that it would be really fun to take our night elves who are in the night elf zone right now in Teldrassil and to run them to the human zone like in Elwyn Forest which is like a whole adventure. I'll like put the map up to show you guys where we have to go. And there's also another part of me that wants to do like other World of Warcraft stuff with other people and maybe just keep the night elves for like the three of us. I think I'm done talking about World of Warcraft stuff for now. Didn't even mean to go off on a little tangent but I kind of needed something to talk about while I was 
doing my makeup otherwise I tend to get silent so that was a lifesaver but it all timed out really well because now we're going into the eyeshadow which is the part I kind of want to actually focus on telling you guys what I'm doing instead of just watching me do my makeup basically what we're gonna do I'm gonna be taking this little brush here this is just what I've been using for the last couple days and I'm gonna be dipping into this red up here called licorice um, and also dipping into this raspberry color so just kind of mixing the two what we're gonna be doing I've kind of been doing this for a few days and I've been really liking it just putting a bunch of red on the top and on the bottom but leaving this middle spot kind of open for black so I start pretty high up um, kind of like above the crease area and I'm almost kind of just making like an outline sort of uh, you'll see as I start to do it but I start making this like V shape too it's always so scary to do on camera because sometimes I'm like Am I even gonna do this right? I think that it all ends up usually being okay because I do my makeup very um, heavy. Like who does their makeup like this? Like most normal people don't like put this much eyeshadow, but I like it dramatic. So I basically made this like outline shape with a V and kind of like a circle kind of, but like a half circle up above my eye. Just keep dipping back into those two colors to make sure I have a lot. And then I'm gonna put it on the bottom also. It's like I'm making like a big old like raccoon eye but with red instead of black and I like to bring it all the way to the inner corner so that is basically where we're at my kitty hi you came to visit don't bump it over hello world now let's just replicate the same thing on the other side as best we can and I'm basically just doing a windshield wiper motion it's very easy I feel like a lot of people can get like intimidated and like scared to like just like go for it but like literally just go for it like literally just put the color there it's gonna be okay I know it's like big and dramatic but and if you want this style of makeup you really just gotta go ham don't be subtle <laughs> more V shape sometimes they're not perfect but I feel like by the end you can't really tell on the bottom and just going into that inner corner. Maybe this is more intense than it was in my video that it was like requested, but like I said, I never really remember what I fully do. Usually what I'll do with my makeup is I kind of like always have these phases and usually it's when I change my hair color. So because I changed my hair to this like red in front, I kind of start like trying different things and then I find something that I like and I start doing it every day, but then I start to like evolve it like, oh, how can I make it more intense? How can I make it more cool? So that's kind of what we're doing. So I would say that's pretty good for now as a start. The next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to be taking this uh, black lipstick by NYX. Um, I think it's called Alien. Yeah, it's called Alien. Basically just going to put it on my eyelid. Um, usually I would do both at the same time, but because I'm filming, I feel like I'm a little bit more slow. So I'm just going to do one at a time so it doesn't like dry on me. And then I'm just taking, this is like my go-to like black eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to kind of pat it all out. Basically just kind of filling in that area that was left open. And I just kind of bring it down to the inner corner kind of. And just blend it into my crease kind of but I don't take it too high up into the red. Because this brush is kind of like on an angle it works really well for like creating like a V shape so I'm kind of also creating that like winged V shape with the black. And then I'm going to take this again and I'm going to put a little bit on the bottom. This is really scary because I'm using my phone again as a mirror so it's really easy to mess up. And then I'm just kind of blending that into my lash line so that we have the black kind of going all the way around. And I guess that you could do the black first if you wanted, but I just find it easier to do the like color first. And you could do this with any color. You could do purple or pink or green. Or sometimes what I'll do and what I kind of did yesterday, similar to this look, I did the red on the bottom and then I did purple on top. You can have fun and play with like two colors if you want. So that's what we have so far. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. Hopefully it's not boring to watch me do like the same thing twice, but I figure it just kind of like enforces the tutorial. You'll just watch me do both of them. I went ahead and put it on my lower lash line too because I don't know. I'll just get it blended out right now. And then again, just kind of doing that little 
outer V thing. Here we are so far. I also kind of fucked up and there's some black. It's okay because I'm sure that I can fix it. thing I'm going to do is go into my Jeffree Star cremated palette and I'm going to be using uh, this black and this shiny black. I'm almost out of them because I use them all the time. Using that same brush with the black, I'm just going to dip into both of them, like mixing both of them together. I'm just going to pat that on top of it. So it just kind of helps to set it and just kind of intensify the black. And then the same thing on the bottom. And then same thing on this side, of course. This is my foundation brush. I'm just going to try to kind of clean up that little bit. I think that that kind of worked. I'm going to go back into um, my red colors just so that I can make sure that the red is still very like vibrant and like distinct because sometimes the black kind of like overtakes it a little bit, especially on the bottom. At this point, this is where I kind of like to bring that red even further down and really make sure that the red is popping out from the black on the bottom. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on my brow bone and I'm just gonna use this like kind of white color up here. Any white light color will work for this. And I'm just gonna kind of do this as a way to highlight my brow bone, but also to clean up the red because sometimes it just gets a little too intense and putting the white kind of helps to like smooth it out and diffuse it. Pretty subtle, you can't really tell anything, but it just helps I think to make it a little bit nicer. Next thing we're gonna do is eyeliner. I'm just using this Essence uh, 24 Ever ink liner and it's just like a felt tip one. Super good, super easy to use. Literally like hate showing my ears, so I'm trying to pin my hair back while not really showing my ears because I just don't like it. I'm just gonna start at the inner corner. And I've been taking it out kind of more like straight recently. Like I used to really go like more up, but now I kind of take it more like this way instead of like up that way. And I make it pretty long, about like that. And then I kind of come back, not at the very tip, so not all the way out here, but I kind of start like in the middle-ish kind of. And I just kind of close my eye and follow the line and then fill it in. Make sure it's in that corner there. That's what we got, and then I'm just gonna continue the line. Okay, so that's pretty much it on the top. Now I'm gonna do the inner corner like this. Okay, so we got that. And then I'm just gonna kinda... So that is the completed eyeliner, and now we'll just do the same thing on the other side. Starting in the corner and taking it pretty straight out keeping it pretty thin at the beginning and then take it back. Whoops. And then just fill it in. And then the inner corner. So now for the fun part, we're going to kind of do the little graphic eyeliner thing. Uh, this one I'll do with an actual like liquid eyeliner. It just works a lot better than the felt. It isn't actually too bad. I feel like I used to be really scared of doing this and it can be really scary to do because you don't want to ruin your whole look. But basically, I'm just going to start in the middle and then I'm going to kind of like connect it down to the wing and pull it like a little bit in towards the inner corner but not all the way. Basically just little strokes, just start building it up in the middle and then I'm just kind of bringing it down. Once you kind of get the shape, it's easier to like go over it and thicken it. It's just getting those like initial guidelines down that's scary. That's pretty much how you do it, that's what it looks like. Just obviously be careful to not like blink too hard because you don't want to mess it up. but. Usually, because of where I position it, it's kind of like above my crease, so it usually is fine. Starting with our initial little kind of curve, kind of like that, and then just bringing it down. Okay, and then back. 
Okay, so now we're gonna be doing mascara, just using my Essence Lash Princess. This is like my favorite one. Uh, mascara, I feel like it's kind of boring, so I'll probably speed through it, just because I have literally nothing to say while I do this. Mascara is done. I feel like that always makes it look so much better. It just makes it look more pretty. I don't know, just having like... Um, so the last and final step is putting on my lipstick. This is my favorite uh, NYX Sway. I bought a bunch of them, not like a bunch, but I now have three of them. So this one's open and I have two more in stock. I have these off of Amazon because NYX stopped selling them. As far as I know, I can never find them at the store and I don't think it's on their website. Usually these are like five or six dollars on Amazon, but randomly they were on sale for like a dollar eighty and there was three left in stock. So I bought them all, but then they went back up to like five or six dollars. But that's why I bought three of them because that was like a super good deal and I will use these my entire life. I think I would die if I couldn't get my hands on this anymore. I obviously have to move my lip rings out of the way. Look at how pretty that purple is. It's just, ugh, it's literally like the perfect purple. So yeah, let's do this. Okay, purple lipstick is on. It feels so weird talking when these are down, um, but I'm just gonna let it fully dry because it's still kind of like wet right now. Yeah, so that is the makeup look done, but I'm gonna put in my hair extensions because I feel like it just makes everything look better every time. Give them a nice little brush out first. I just wear the two. I just brush them out together. It's just faster and easier. I think it was also requested for me to do a video um, about my hair extensions, like more like in depth about them and where I got them, so I might do that eventually too. Purple hair extension in. I know it's like a different color from my real hair, but I don't care. It's close enough. And then we got the black one in now too. Okay, and now with the extensions, I literally don't know why, it just makes the makeup look feel complete. It's kind of like the mascara. Like it's just like the final touch makes me feel good, makes it look better. I hope that it was similar to what I had in the closet video. I think I did a good job. I hate that my camera like changes the lighting when I get closer, but um, that's it. I feel like I really suck at like showing off my makeup because I don't like my face up close. It weirds me out. The only other thing that was different is I was also wearing those Eye of Sauron contact lenses. Maybe I could put those in. Maybe I will. I'll go put those in real quick. I wish I could like show you me putting them in, but I usually put them in in the bathroom, but maybe I'll try to put them in here today so you can at least like see me doing it. There's no way I can use my camera though, so I'll have to use that mirror, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, so I have it here. I know that people are probably like, how the hell do you put that in after you do your makeup? But that's what I usually do. I don't know. I just pull my eye open kind of and it's no big deal. Um, but I'm gonna have to get pretty close to the mirror, so I don't know how much of this you'll be able to see. I might just edit it out, to be honest, but we'll see. I got it in, but at what cost? <laughs> ah. Kind of ruined the makeup a little bit. It's not that it like hurts or anything, it's just that my eyes start to water, and the mascara and everything starts to run. I'm just gonna take my foundation brush and just kinda blend that out. Let's just pretend that that didn't happen. And we're just going to try to kind of repair it. There. It's a little bit more like intense now, kind of more dramatic. Whoops, that's okay. Okay, so I managed to get the other one in, but I had to go to the other bathroom because the lighting is just so much better in there. So I don't know why, but that just helps me to be able to get it in easier. My makeup got a little bit uh, messed up in the process, so I had to kind of fix it, but it's kind of more like intense now. Like the red is more you know, because I had to try to fix it so it kind of comes down a little further. It looks really, really cool. Definitely kind of completes the look. What do you guys think? They're so cool. I can't even believe how cool they are. It probably is better to put them in first before the makeup look. Um, that's probably why maybe I have a hard time, but that, I don't know. That's just how I've always just put them in after I do my makeup for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe I should try putting them in first. Anyways, that's all that I have for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed the makeup tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions or whatever. I'll link all of the products down below. Make sure to follow me on Instagram if you haven't and join my Discord server, especially if you want to do some World of Warcraft stuff because I'm going to be trying to do more of that in the future and maybe I'll start streaming again too, which might make that easier to do WoW events so that I'll be like streaming while it's happening. 
but I'm still kind of shy to do it, so we'll see. So I hope that you guys have a lovely day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!